All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to do a quick video on adding and subtracting negative numbers. So this uh, first problem is 2 minus 10 plus 8 minus negative 2 plus negative 10. Right away, I am bothered by this, and what bothers me is right here, negative minus negative 2. So I would rewrite this expression as 2 minus 10 plus 8 minus negative 2 I would rewrite as plus 2 and I would finish it off with plus negative 10. Now I don't have any of the double negatives that really um, mess me up. So quick change of color. So using the algebra tiles this is 2, sorry, uh, the commas, this is 2 and negative 10 and positive 8 and positive 2 and negative 10. Uh, this particular problem I'll use the tiles for, but for the next one I won't. So this is two positives, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten negatives, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight positives, and two more positives there, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten negatives. As you can see, it's going to get a little messy this way, um, but you can do it. it might, might take you a long time, but you can do it this way if you'd like. So let's make our zero pairs. Well, I know that's a zero pair right there. That's a zero pair right there. Uh, I have zero pair, zero pair, zero pair, zero pair. I know it's getting annoying hearing me say zero pair over and over again, but that's essentially what goes on in the problem like this and we end up with how many negatives let's see it's one two three four five six seven eight negatives so the answer is negative eight now just to show you that it can be done another way I'm going to do the same problem two minus ten plus eight plus two I'm just recopying this step up here plus negative 10. I'm just going to go left to right here, so comma, 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 comma. 2 and negative 10 is negative 8. Negative 8 plus 8, 0. 0 plus 2 is positive 2. And 10 plus, sorry, 2 plus negative 10 is negative 8. So I get the same answer both ways. Alright, so let's look at the second problem. Negative 1 minus 3 minus negative 9 plus negative 5. So Right away, I am bothered by that right there, the negative, double negative, negative, negative 9. So I'm going to rewrite this as negative 1 minus 3 minus negative 9 becomes plus 9 plus negative 5. Okay, now that I did that, let's change our color up. All right, we have negative 1 and negative 3 and positive 9 and negative 5. Negative 1 and negative 3 makes negative 4. Negative 4 and positive 9 makes positive 5. Positive 5 and negative 5 makes 0. Alright, so our final answer is 0. I'm going to try it a slightly different way just to kind of show you that there are multiple ways you can do a problem like this. Um, let's go to what color have I not used? I haven't used just plain old black before. All right. If you take our positives, and I'm going to underline my only positive there, which is 9. I'm going to double underline my negatives, so I have negative 1 and negative 3, which makes negative 4, and negative 5. So negative 1 and negative 3 is negative 4, and negative 5 makes negative 9. So I have 9 and negative 9, or 9 minus 9, which is 0. So a couple different ways of doing the problem. Let's move on to the next one. 2 minus 3 plus negative 5 plus negative 3. Do I need to uh, make any double negative changes? Absolutely not. So I can just put my commas in. So 2 and negative 3 is negative 1. Negative 1 and negative 5 is negative 6. Negative 6 and negative 3 is negative 9. So just want to check that. 2 minus 3, negative 1. Negative 1, negative 5, negative 6, negative 6, and negative 3, yep, negative 9. And this last one, 17 and negative 8 and 
negative 8. So if you think about it, positive 17 and 8 negatives is uh, negative, sorry, excuse me, I have more positives than negatives, so it's positive 9. And positive 9 and that negative 8 up there makes positive 1. All right. Another way of thinking of this one, because it kind of just stands out to me, is I have 17 positives, so that's my positives, and I have 8 negatives, and another 8 negatives gives me 16 negatives. So 8 and 8, 16 negatives, and 17 and negative 16 makes 1. All right, hope you uh, learned something.